Hey guys, welcome back to your favorite channel PHDN. Today, let us talk about what are a graphical abstract. Let us see how to draft graphical abstract by using MS PowerPoint. Graphical abstract are pictorial representation of your research findings. It might be from your thesis or it might be from your research article. In recent years, graphical abstracts have created tremendous interest owing to the fact that uh, these graphical abstracts are capable of attracting wider audience and can eventually boost your citation score. Most of the reputed journals offer you to submit a graphical abstract. Graphical abstract contains more figures with less text. Here you highlight your significant outcome of the study in this video let me show you or demonstrate you how to prepare a graphical abstract by using a simple powerpoint tool in this video let me take one of my accepted article which contains a graphical abstract before we could start the graphical abstract we need to have all your significant findings should be in jpeg format and then you need to choose the picture for example i'll be choosing this picture here i have isolated a compound characterized and purified using tlc and hplc now i need to insert this from here you can change the size accordingly let me put five then you try to place here no, this is a big one. We need to crop it. Go to format, then use crop button. Crop this. I want to have only this picture in my graphical abstract, which is TLC purified compound. Now you can try to add the next process for example I will open the picture here TLC purified compound was subjected to LCMS which gave a purified peak let me reduce the size So let me crop this picture. I need only half of the picture. So here you can see I have cropped it to find this compound which I have characterized from this is a crude extract and which I have purified using TLC then I have subjected it to LCMS which gave me a single peak which was further characterized using a chemical library to find this close affinity towards 2,4 DAPG so this I have characterized here and I have two pictorial diagram now I need to add more evidence for this now what I have done in my study I have synthesized silver nanoparticles using this 2,4 DAPG which I am going to add now now let me reduce the size and here let me add Let me crop this. And here, for example, this is for you can place wherever you want. And in this picture, I want to show that after characterization, I have used this 2,4 DAPG and treated with silver nitrate, which resulted in formation of bioconjugated. Uh, complex of silver nanoparticles with 2,4 DAPG which I'll be using for antimicrobial activity 
now I need to characterize the next process is now I need to characterize this which I have already done using UV spectra let me reduce the size again format so here I am reducing cropping the picture to reduce its size let me cut down this so so the next part is so similar way you keep on adding the important pictorial diagrams of your results try to crop it as shown then try to place accordingly in the graphical abstract then you will add your next figure in the same way by adding just the appropriate figure then you adjust your size crop using crop tool and then you try to place it accordingly then after completion of this placement now comes addition of text here you will add your text to each individual diagrams by using a tool in your PowerPoint presentation now you try to add your text accordingly like what it represents for example here wave conjugation process then you will try to add uh, the arrow which shows the activity of this bioconjugated uh, complex and you can format the arrow with your choice of color then individually try to name or label your pictorial diagrams after the completion of addition of pictorial diagrams and labeling now you need to try to group all your pictures as a one file now press ctrl a and select all your pictures and right click and go for group and then group it once it is grouped try to save by save as by clicking save as button then going down to other options then here in the in this menu you can see like different option and here you need to choose jpeg format and click on save it will ask whether you want to save all the slides you can simply click on current slide which results in like saving of your drafted graphical abstract so with this i would like to conclude my video i hope you liked it please do like share and subscribe to my channel Thanks for watching, stay connected, stay tuned to my channel for upcoming videos. Till then, see you, goodbye, good luck in your thesis or research. Bye-bye.